Calgary Wildlife Rehabilitation Society was started in 1993 when the Calgary Zoo could no longer take injured and orphaned wildlife. Our mandate since then has been to rescue, rehabilitate and release wildlife that comes from the Calgary area. There's a great need for our organization because as the city grows, there's a lot more incursions between wildlife and the citizens in our infrastructure. A lot of our animals are coming in injured. Um, they're window strikes, electrocutions, they're attacked by other animals, they're uh, attacked by pets that are on the loose, um, or they may be just orphaned. We're a very volunteer-run organization. The entire board of directors are volunteers. We basically have two full-time staff and all the other work is done by volunteers. And we have volunteers from every walk of life and they do pretty well every task. You know, when they get proper training and orientation, they can go out and do animal rescues. They'll also help with uh, maintenance of our animal enclosures and also feeding of our wildlife. It's very hands-on work. Um, it's awesome. You see these birds flying around in the sky, but to actually see them up close and look at them, it's just a real awesome experience. We do get mostly birds because there are more birds here than anything else, but we do get squirrels, uh, we get salamanders, snakes, frogs. Our biggest issue is that we're getting overwhelmed by the number of animals that are coming in. Uh, we've pretty much reached our capacity, so we need a better way to, we need to become more efficient in what we do, and by doing that, uh, we will be able to handle more animals. So we're in need of improved medical equipment, and we're also in need of, of some improved infrastructure. A $100,000 funding grant would allow us to improve our uh, medical capabilities, which of course will improve the outcome of our mandate, which is to uh, release more wildlife. With our outreach, what we do is we have um, young offenders come over from Corrections Canada's facility, and they do chores around here and help us out under supervision. And that gives them a chance to uh, start to integrate back into society and also to give back. We educate over 5,000 children a year. And we go to their classrooms, we take one of our education ambassadors like Oberon the Great Horned Owl here, and what we teach the children is how to respect our wildlife, how to be safe around our wildlife, and some things specific around great horned owls or whatever, whatever animal we have there. And the classrooms love it, the children love it, and they're just in awe to be able to see a big owl like this that close. My job is to provide all of the veterinary care to the animals that come into the center, to assess them when they arrive, to make sure that they're healthy prior to release. There's a tremendous need within the city of Calgary for an organization like this. We're the only one that provides veterinary care to injured or orphaned wildlife. And within the city, there's always cases where people are finding those animals that are in need. We recently just had a Swainson's hawk come in that had um, some soft tissue trauma of its spine, and that one required quite extensive treatment. Uh, he's pulled through, and he's now perching well, and he's going to be released this fall. Uh, the better equipment would greatly enhance the ability that we have to be able to treat these animals. This is a working hospital and we need the equipment to provide enhanced veterinary care to the animals that come into the center. You ready?